Conservatism by its very nature is tolerant because conservatives don't want to involve themselves in, 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 in over-regulating, overruling, or telling people what to do and how to live their lives, how to educate their kids. That's what conservatism is about. Conservatism proved itself to be much more tolerant over the last dec uh, eight years of Barack Obama. They gave him a chance. Was he criticized? Yes. Were certain policies criticized? Like Obamacare? Yes. But Obama was given a shot at running the country. They don't even, the liberals don't even want to give Trump a shot. They want to stop him right out of the box. It's unbelievable. Back to Table Talk Tuesday. We go back into time and look at those old Table Talk clips where we just sat around the kitchen table and uh, talked about all the things that were important in America. That was from a couple of years ago. And uh, Steve Lonigan from uh, Bogota, New Jersey, was a great friend of the show. And he's blind, and he still was an uh, elected candidate and uh, fighting for democracy all the time. A guy who's not blind, a guy who sees it as sharp as can be, is uh, attorney David Sorobin. He's also a former New York State Assemblyman. And uh, he calls it like he sees it. Dave, thanks for giving us a few minutes today. You're a lawyer, one of the top lawyers around. You've been in the legislature, so you understand how all this other crap works on, in the sausage factory. Um, what's the story with this impeachment? We know it's not going to get past the Senate. Is there even a point? Well, the point is to prevent the president from doing what he's trying to do. That's the only point to this. Um, they're trying to overthrow the government that we've elected. That's the only reason they're doing it. Because let's be honest, this is not a whistleblower. This, a whistleblower is someone who is within that same organization. So a CIA officer saying that CIA, the CIA did something bad would be a whistleblower. Here we have the report by the CIA, by the FBI, by other agencies that are trying to overthrow the government against the constitutional president of the United States. That's the only explanation behind what's happening. That's the only reason why there are so many leaks. This, uh, this White House has been leaking worse than the worst than the sieve you would get at Walmart. <laughs> so, that, but that's but, but, but you know it's true. The president they cannot do anything uh, in this case uh, to move the country in the direction that he is trying to move the country. Because, and it's not just the Democrats; it's also Republicans. Republicans who are uh, like Mitt Romney, who are just trying to make sure that Pierre we go back Delecto. to the neocon days of uh, George W. Bush. Nobody's interested in the neocon days. Uh, Mitt Romney needs to go away. I couldn't uh, agree. Well, I think he's trying to go away. He created this new name, Pierre Delecto, which is his fake Twitter account name. Well, uh, he should go to France with a name like Pierre. Yeah, uh, yeah, they'll should. be better off with him. Yeah. I mean, we're not. Uh, Senator, you know, we all read the uh, shocking news, unfortunately, of this uh, family of Americans uh, murdered in uh, Mexico by a drug cartel. The president tweeted about it this morning that he wants to declare war on these Mexican uh, drug cartels. Uh, in your view, does this uh, strengthen the case for a border wall, the kind of which the president's been proposing? This is common sense. There's a reason why we have a door in our house. It's just basic common sense. There's never been an argument against the, uh, having a door. There's no argument against having a wall. That doesn't mean that the United States will have to have no immigrants. Obviously, I'm an immigrant. But what that means is that we need to protect the United States. We need to know who's coming in. Uh, is that person a criminal or is that person a Nobel Prize winner? Is that person going to pay taxes or is that uh, person going to rob grandmas? What is that person going to be like? The United States has a choice to decide to let a person into the United States or not let a person into the United States. And building, building the wall is one of the methods behind doing it. It's not the only thing the government should be doing, but it's one of the many things that need to get done to make sure that we don't have terrorists, criminals, uh, welfare frauds, and so on coming into the United States. Uh, 23 hours ago, uh, the New York City Police Commissioner James O'Neill announced that he was stepping down from his post. This is what Commissioner O'Neill said yesterday right here in New York City. I'm leaving because I have another opportunity. I'll talk a little bit more about that after I leave. But uh, it's something I couldn't pass up. I've been doing this job for almost 37 years now. Uh, I love being a cop. And I consider myself a cop as the police commissioner. I never considered myself a sergeant, lieutenant, captain, whatever rank I was, I considered myself a cop. Because I know what it's like to be out there at 2 o'clock on a Saturday morning when you're it. And people look to you. Hey, keep me safe. Make me feel better. And that's what our cops do each and every day. 
Senator, you were a state senator right here in New York City. Um, a lot of people are saying that he's leaving because he's frustrated with the efforts of criminal justice reformers uh, to make it impossible to arrest anyone from anything. Uh, President Trump seemed to, uh, seemed to allude to that when he referenced how terrible Bill de Blasio and Andrew Cuomo have made uh, New York City. Give me your take on Commissioner O'Neill's uh, decision to resign and what the president had to say about it. I mean, he was one of the few competent people in this administration. Uh, one of the few people that uh, the regular New Yorker actually trusted because Bill de Blasio is someone that, I don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat, not too many people actually like him. And certainly the police, they would turn their uh, back towards the mayor. There's a reason why, because he would consistently be against them. And what, uh, the reform that we're seeing is insane. Uh, yesterday I was reading that uh, for uh, criminals, for defendants anyways, to go back to court, now that we will not have bail for, in a lot of those cases, they will be getting METS tickets. Well, well look, I should get arrested. I mean, METS suck, okay, but I, I, I'd like to I was going to say, sometimes that's a punishment. Hey, hey, METS tickets hey, can I, be I a punishment. Okay, but get tickets, today, okay? Just so you know. The Mets just named Carlos Beltran. So what happened? You got arrested, manager. and that's how you got so the exactly. I got my Mets tie on today. So, so you're going to go back to court? Or? Mock the Nets. You're okay, going to go back to Mets, court or what? Okay? I don't know if I have to go back. Oh, 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 oh. oh so if you're at the get Met game, you're waiting. Yeah, to go exactly. Back to a whole court. bunch of criminals wow. right there. Well, there's definitely uh, plenty of empty seats there to wait. Hey, listen, you know, a whole bunch game. of Met players have been stealing people's money. You know, yeah, that salary no they've doubt, been getting. No doubt I don't know about that. that. And the Jets and the Giants. I know. Uh, talk about a uh, waste of dough. Hey, there will be criminals on the field and in the stands, <laughs> you know? <laughs> they don't have the masks. That's the only thing they're missing. So, uh, David, in our final moments here, uh, I want to ask you about the Epstein matter. I know we talked to consistent with a, with a strangulation. Uh, is there anything we can do, like as citizens, to get the real information? Well, uh, first off, uh, did you ever watch any movie where a person would climb out of jail uh, using like um, uh, bed sheets or whatever? You've seen that yeah. movie, right? Yes. Everyone has seen that movie. Don't you think that the people who develop or build uh, and run prisons have seen that movie? Yes. They know about it. So bed sheets are not made of the same material that you use at home. They're made of basically paper. That's it's right. paper that's a little bit stronger, but it rips right away. You cannot hang yourself on prison bed sheets. It's impossible to do that. The second you'll try to do it, you will, uh, they will break. They break. And the idea that he, did, he killed himself on those is not physically possible. Whatever happened, that did not happen. All right. Well, uh, you heard it here. David Sorobin, one of the top lawyers here in New York, also a uh, former member of the New York State Legislature. So he's been on all sides of the roads. And uh, like our guests, they always know where the rubber meets the road. Dave, thank you so much thank for you. coming in today. Really appreciate it. You, you, you you're good, you.